Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today is January 25th, and I am super excited to let you guys know that Samsung One UI 3.0 with Android 11 has finally been pushed out to the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Now, for anybody who watches this channel knows, I've already had Samsung One UI 3.0 for quite a while for the Galaxy Note devices, the Galaxy S20. I also have the Galaxy S21 with Samsung One UI 3.1, but here we go, my daily driver, this folding experience device device finally has Samsung One UI 3.0 and I honestly feel 3.0 was made for these folding devices. Now not only do we get the Samsung One UI 3.0 but we finally get that January patch. I mean we're 25 days into the month. We should have had this one earlier but they were probably holding on to it to put it in with this huge update here of 3.0. This one is two gigabytes or right close to two gigs for a, for a download so this one will take a little while. If you are brand new to the Samsung One UI 3.0 family, I do have have a video I'll place a link for it right here you can click there you can watch this video after this one here also place the link below the video because I went over everything that Samsung Winnie Y uh, the three upgrade gives you so I'm just gonna read this first paragraph I'm not gonna go through all of this just because my other videos really cover it very 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 well uh, but right here Samsung Winnie Y 3 is designed to help you focus on what matters our visual redesign has improved the places you visit the most like the home screen in quick panel to reduce distractions highlight important information and make your experiences more consistent. Performance improvements will help apps run quicker while using less battery power, and One UI 3 puts control in your hands with new privacy controls, one-time permissions, and enhanced digital well-being. Again, I've covered all of that in past videos, so here we go. We're gonna download this one. It's gonna just take about a minute and a half just to download it, but the installation will take a little bit longer, probably a good 10 minutes, so we'll pause this here for a quick second. We'll come back and we'll just take a look at how how it looks on a folding device. Now again, I am used to it on other devices, but I just feel that it's gonna work so much better and be more fluid with the Galaxy Z Fold 2. And it's usually in this point in the video where I state that if you're brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on the software versions, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. And again, if you appreciate this video, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. It helps out this video with the YouTube algorithm. So the download is complete. We just have to hit install. And if you do want to see some of all of this that's you know brand new here, after you get this one installed, I'll show you how you can go back and actually read everything that was shown on your last update. So once this one is done, we'll turn it right back on and then I'll show you where you can view all of this brand new stuff if you personally would like to read it. Um, other than that, I do have a video that you guys can watch. Again, it's linked below the video inside of the description. So the update is done and complete. And before we go through some of this phone here just to see you know again what is new and just what it looks like on the Galaxy Z Fold 2. If you wanted to take a look at everything that is brand new like you personally want to read it but you didn't want to read it from before just go inside of your settings then as you scroll all the way down take a look at your software update and instead of going up here where you go to download and install just tap this one right here. So the last update is sitting right here. It's letting you know, you know, when was the last update? What was new? Things like that, just in case if you forgot to take a look. So this is the latest update. This is the latest uh, details that was sitting there right before we hit download and install. So it's a way that you're able to read everything, take a look and then just see what is new. So let's take a look around the phone. And one of my favorite things about Samsung One UI 3.0 is it's one of these that's very simple and easy and other YouTubers will say the same thing. But when you go inside of your advanced features, uh, First off on the top, they did categorize and put it all in one spot for your Android Auto, Samsung Dex, link to Windows, call and text and other devices. But instead of the motions and gestures, originally you were able to double tap to turn on the screen, but now you're able to also double tap to turn off the screen. So this is one of those newer uh, little tabs you're able to turn on or off uh, with this brand new update. It will not work if you're inside of another application, but all you have to do is just go to your homepage and then do a simple double tap. It's a way that it kind of makes it a little bit easier just to turn off the screen rather than hitting the power button or waiting for it to, to time out. Also, when you do double tap to turn on, uh, this is gonna be the newer lock screen. So this is what it looks like if you were to unlock your device. The other thing I also wanna show in this page here is gonna be the newer lock screen widgets. So to take a look at the lock screen widgets, instead of you swiping underneath, you just tap on the time. 
and then all the widgets are going to be sitting right here. Now, if you do want to interact with them, simply interact. Uh, if you do want to make a few changes, let's first unlock the phone. So you tap on the settings button and it takes you inside of your widgets screen here that you're able to move them around, reorder them. Uh, you can also turn some certain things on. So let's say that you uh, want to look at your Bixby routines or maybe the digital well-being and maybe today's schedule so this all looks good here you can also reorder them on whichever order you'd like them to go so maybe weather would be a little bit more important uh, so there you go so now you're just going to hit on the back button and that's pretty much it for the widgets now another thing that has been updated let's say that you press and hold anywhere on the screen that's empty if you go inside of the the wallpapers you do have a a updated dynamic lock screen so underneath the wallpaper services when you go to dynamic lock screen which is my favorite thing um, for you know wallpapers instead of you being able to choose only one category i believe you can choose up to five different categories at the exact same time so let's say that you wanted to have art and let's also go with life so this way you're able to download Ooh, and let's also go with special so now i'm going to have three different categories you know going on all at once what's going to happen is every single time that your screen goes to a lock screen it's going to change the wallpaper in the background uh, and it's going to do it now with three different categories originally it was only able to work with one so let's say that we take a look at this here so double tap to turn it off double tap to turn it on so there's one image that one was probably underneath life this one's probably underneath art um, and then so on and so forth. So it is actually really cool to have different wallpapers every time you turn on the phone and now more than just the one category. Ooh, 69, nice. Okay, another thing that you're also able to do is inside of the, the phone application, you can see that there is a new icon right up over here. Then you go inside of the settings, then you can see call background. So you see that little orange N, just letting you know that there's something new inside of here. So you can change your layout if you wanted to change your layout to look a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. Uh, then you can also change your background. So you can either have a video being played. So if somebody calls you, it's gonna play this, this video right now. This is very plain, just kind of moving colors. You can actually you know, select your own video that you recorded. Also, you can have a different background if you wanna have a completely different image. So let's say maybe this right here is a cool image to have. Uh, you can use that one as your call background. Uh, if you do use your own video, it would actually be able to give you the option if you want to have the audio from the video be your ringtone. So here we go. Let's just do a picture of this moon here. Select this call background and there we go. So now anytime someone calls me, uh, it's going to show up with this image here. Again, if you chose a video, what will happen is you have the option to choose uh, to either select or deselect the audio of that video as the ringtone uh, again, which is actually still super cool. Now, two more things I do wanna show that is also brand new is that when you do press and hold on any of these applications, if there is any widgets pertaining to that application, you can see the widgets right here. So this way you don't have to go inside of the home screen settings and go through a whole bunch of different pages. You know, if you're about to use this application, you're like, shoot, uh, you know, I know that there's an awesome widget here. You can just go through here, press and hold, hit on widgets, and it's gonna only show the widgets for that application itself. Or sometimes there are so many different widgets through that entire page, you're just wondering what type of widget there was for Yahoo Sports. So instead of you searching through, trying to find you know what there is, it'll actually just pop it up right here, you drag and drop it, put it on your screen, and that's how you add in the widgets and it's actually fairly simple. And then the last thing I do wanna show you with this update is when you go inside of your gallery, there is gonna be a newer way to edit photos and it's it makes it way easier. So let's say that you wanted to edit Edit this photo here so when you hit on this little edit button uh, one of the nice things is that you have revert so it's a way that you're able to undo all the changes and go back to the original image now you can still save a copy on the very top but the thing that kind of was irritating with Samsung One UI 2.5 is that when you went through and you wanted to have this be the image let's just say and we're not really doing too much once you hit on save inside of your gallery there would be two images so now you're just cluttering up your gallery with a bunch of images and and most of them look the exact same and this is really maybe the one that you want uh, and you don't really want the other one this is a way that you don't have to delete another image and so you only have the one saved photo in your gallery instead of just a bulk of a whole bunch of stuff that is just again cluttering up your gallery now if you go back into this photo anytime after you've already uh, edited it you can go through and you can revert it back to the original image 
Now, again, if you do go through and you want this to be saved, you know, as a, a its own image, you can just save a copy. So this way you do have two versions of this image, one that's the original, one that you've edited, but a lot of times once you edit it, that is really what you want. So the reverting back to the original is something that is actually really nice when it comes down to, uh, you know, Samsung One UI 3.0. Revert, go back to original, hit save, and there you go. But that's all I wanted to do for today's video is let you guys know that there is a brand new update. We took a look at a few brand new things. Again, I'll be placing a link below the video inside the description if you guys want to see the full list, the entire ultimate guide of what is new for Samsung One UI 3.0. But I'm super excited. It's finally here uh, on the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Uh, but if you guys do like this video, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.